So in the previous demonstration, I created two security groups. They were both regular security gateway security groups. So now I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of a mix. I'm going to create one security group with uh, VSX not enabled, and then a second one with VSX selected. So I'll have one security gateway and one VSX gateway. So going through the uh, the first time wizard, adding the sick key and so on. Populating a couple of appliances into the security group, uh, management interface, and a couple of uplink appliances. And oh, I forgot to delete the VLAN. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Kind of a compulsive for neatness, I suppose. And there's got to be a better way to do this. Select each one individually but it occurs to me that you can use shift and control to select multiple and try that and indeed this is a better way so there you go and select multiple gateways or multiple interfaces using the shift or control keys to modify the clicks so populate a couple of uplink interfaces in this security group. Create a second security group and populate the single management object network. And then also the first time wizard settings. So an imaginative security group name. And select install as VSX. So this will be a VS, uh, VSX gateway security management object. Populate it with a couple of security gateway modules. And I want to get there. We are. I want to get the same management interface and a couple of uplink interfaces. Now that all that's done, go ahead and apply. So we're, we're looking at the configuration, making sure it's correct, and we're sending the configuration out to the selected security gateway modules. And now security gateway modules be restarting and I'll pause for a bit while waiting for the security gateway modules to to restart. So they, they have restarted and I am connected to the web user interface of the first security group's single management object. And sorry, keyboard problem now manage to type the password. Again, it's uh, the default password because this is a brand new single management object. So admin, admin. Just make a couple of setting changes here. A nice long timeout for the command line interface as well as the web user interface. In production, you probably wouldn't have a timeout this long. Don't forget to apply. And also change the password. So from the default admin to a top secret, super secret password. Now, configure the network interfaces. These are the uplink interfaces that I attached to this security group. And for this demonstration, using the one network. So both interfaces will be configured. I'm 
once that's done, you know, normally I would open the other security groups web user interface, but it's a VSX group. So the web user interface isn't supported. So I'm going to skip that step. Next, smart console and create the objects. So we have two security groups. One is VSX, the other is not VSX. So we'll be creating two objects in smart console. One will be the usual security gateway object and the other will be a VSX gateway object. Creating the security gateway object, populating it with the name that I configured for the service of single management object, IP address I configured for the single management object, establish SIC using the activation key that I configured. And topology now be fetched. And it looks very nice. So next, um, we'll close the topology. We'll close the, uh, the brand new security gateway object and create another object, in this case, a, a VSX gateway object. And the process follows the same lines, but it's a little, it looks a little bit different. Uh, but again, use the, uh, the name I configured in the second security group, the VSX security group, use the IP address that I configured in that second security group. And the version is R80.20 scalable platform in this demo environment. I'll just take the default shared interface, provide the activation key that was specified when I created the second security group. And select one interface to be the VLAN trunk, and maybe both. How about both interfaces be VLAN trunks? Probably don't want to configure the management interface to be a VLAN trunk in this demo environment. So in a production environment, that, that might make sense. So uh, the VLAN trunks can be used by virtual switches uh, to, to provide multiple virtual systems with uh, their own connectivity out using one physical, in this case, virtual physical interface. Issues with my mouse selecting. Oh, I, I want to reserve one interface. That's not a VSX, uh, sorry, not a VLAN interface. Um, I forgot I only had two uplink interfaces here. So we'll set one of them not to be a VLAN trunk and enable some policy, some, some simple policy on the VSX gateway itself. Though you may want to just check all of the options for the security rules to add, except for the last, any, 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 any drop. And when you click next, it automatically starts the, the process of we publish our changes, we start creating the VSX gateway object, we push policy to the VSX gateway object. And, and recall the VSX gateway, that's the outer shell, that, that represents the physical server that will be running the virtual systems. So now I want to create a virtual system to run inside of that VSX gateway. First, I'm going to install policy to the other security gateway, one that is just a regular security gateway. So let that run and create 
uh, a via a virtual system on that VSX gateway. Very imaginative name for that virtual system. And there's only one choice for the VSX gateway. Configure internal and external interfaces. And oh, periods are important. As is the correct subnet mask. Or going a default gateway at this point. For internal, we'll use a, a VLAN. And IP address, the imaginative, with that mask complete with periods. Next, the virtual system will be created on the VSX gateway. And again, this automatically publishes any changes, starts the process of creating that virtual system in configuration on the management server, and then on the VSX gateway itself. And this will take a while, so we will uh, pause until this is done. The virtual system has, be has been created. If I expand that virtual gateway, a VSX gateway, I mean object, um, you see the virtual system. I'm going to install policy, the, the same policy that has been installed on my uh, security gateway will be installed on this virtual system. And what the, what the heck, I'll just install it on both the security gateway and the virtual system. So this is a virtual system running on all of the security gateway modules that are plugged in or that are attached to this service group, uh, sorry, this security group. The um, policy successfully installed, hooray, that's always good. If you're planning to deploy VSX in a Maestro environment, there's some limitations that you should know. So this is the list of R80.20 scalable platform known limitations. And the first is that virtual switch is not supported without a jumbo hotfix. And second is that Virtual routers are not supported. There's not a fix for that available yet. So it requires a jumbo hot fix in R80.20 in order to use virtual switches correctly. Virtual routers are not supported. And same thing in R80.30 scalable platform. There's a hot fix required or virtual switches, virtual routers are not yet supported at the time of this video. <clears throat> 